Guys, I have a close guard, and maybe like I end up in the close guard, or maybe coming out from the close guard, and the other person is already kind of like a hold you down. Maybe he hold because he hold this uh, a, a takedown, or maybe he hold because he just sweep, or maybe he just walk inside of your guard to just hold you. Because if you walk to someone in a close guard, he has a lot of movement. But sometimes people, if they feel strong, they go to the close guard just to hold you there. Not necessarily he is allowed to hold, but sometimes he can gain some time, he can buy some time, so he can breathe and then he can maybe attack again. So you wanna try reverse that. Reverse if you can from take down, reverse if you can from a sweep. You wanna be able to just recover to try uh, give back to him and get the two points, right? So, usually the person's gonna hold right on your side. Um, I don't think he's gonna grab the lapel, he's just gonna keep uh, holding your side. Maybe he hide his head because maybe you're gonna just push him, but then he just end up in something like this. Uh, maybe it's not your favorite move. Maybe you don't like to go like a cross grip, but as soon as he's over here, stay, stay down. As soon as he's over here, one hand goes there. One hand goes there and make like a cross grip. Hey, make a grip, please. Make a cross grip and you're gonna go right on his knuckles. Right on his, stay, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna go right on his knuckle and you gotta find the edge to try scrape his hand away. So once he, once you scrape his hand out, you cannot put his hand on your lapel. Because if you put it in the lapel, now you're gonna have to do it again. So if you take his hand out from the side, now just keep blocking, keep blocking. Don't let him make this grip and cross it the other side. And now you have a big chance to start recover from it. Stay tight, stay tight. Maybe even if he's still trying to hold you tight, now you have like foot in the hip and just start pushing and just start recover from that. After I get over here, I can just, I'm dragging him, go to his back. Uh, I can go to the belt, scoop under, and try to pull from there. We just don't want to let someone just pin you down and just hold or just kind of gain some time. Maybe you need one minute to recover. When I say recover, like reverse the situation. And then if you hold it 30 seconds over there, he almost got a pen, or maybe he got a pen, but you don't have time to make those, those two points back, that's a problem. So, go this so he got inside of here, he's most like holding me down. I'm not necessarily I need to just keep my guard closed because I want to get out of here. But one hand goes there. One hand goes there, make a grip, cross grip, make the strongest grip you can. And the other hand comes and like side scrape his grip out. Once he scrape, make sure he doesn't really like a, make another grip. Cross him to the other side. My foot start going to the hip. With my foot in the hip, stay a little tight. Once with my foot in the hip, I can move him away. I can connect like on the hook from there and go through by my guard. Obviously, like if I have the chum one, I can continue using the chum one. But obviously, like you have any position you want. I just don't want to see you guys being like uh, going your back. I just don't want you guys being like with someone just kind of like hold you down or just kind of gain some time and just take the time away from you. Because the time needs to be for you do something. When I say do something, it should be you been doing point, game point. And if you're behind, even worse. You can't, you can't waste that time. Now even if it's like 10 seconds, you cannot, you cannot let someone just hold you down when you're behind, when you're losing. That's what I guess. Okay. Guys, remember like every time is important. So if you let someone just little by little, every position, every scenario, like he take, he slow you down 10 seconds, or maybe hold you 10 seconds, I need a little bit more time, I guess, to the to the referee uh, give give the other person pen, penalize. You know what I mean, so so we can't let he just slow you down, especially if you're behind. If you win, of like uh, you don't need to rush to beat him because you're a win win, but you, you can't wait till the other person make a mistake. But once you're already behind. You're already losing, so it doesn't matter if you lose by two points or lose by, by 10 points or you maybe end up tapping. Once you're behind, it's like just, you gotta go, you know what I mean? And the time has to be yours, you know what I mean? He cannot control the time because when he's holding you down, the time is his, you know what I mean? He's controlling you. So if you get to one point, you start walking on this and you you not be able to find his hand or maybe his, his grip is strong, hand goes right on his head. You need, you need to get him out of it. You need, you need to start moving. Even if you just like a, a doesn't doesn't like to recover the guard the way it is, but you need to be able to just get back like a, a in an off, a, a offense position. So my hand goes on his hip. 
I'll go and start to kind of like uh, swing my legs, almost if it's just, I was like just paddle. Everything, everything I'll do just to get my foot on his hip. With my, uh, keep the grip, John. With my foot on his hip, I'm no longer looking for his grip anymore. If he still have this grip, if he still have this grip on my side, and I have my foot on his hip, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose one side. I would like to hip escape toward the side. Maybe you like to hip escape toward the side. So choose your favorite side and just kind of uh, hip escape and the same side of the leg, you're gonna swing. Be careful, be careful who's in this position because when you swing the, you swing the, the leg, if you get your arm straight, you can really kind of like a half hop. So keep your elbow like a, don't lock your elbow because when the leg comes, can really hit hard. So just be ready to just give up a little bit of position. And then other. Uh, this hand is still looking for the other shoulder. One more time, please. So he's holding down. You it's right, because the grip is not getting the grip. Two hands on the head, and start really swing, swing your legs. Two feet on his hip. If he still have the grip on your side, one leg goes and just kind of swing over. Uh, everything I'm looking for right now is to sit up and go find the other shoulder. I'm controlling the shoulder because I have my legs over there, but I'm controlling the other shoulder with everything I have, with my both hands if possible. Obviously, if I'm able to underhook this arm, great. If the gi is loose and I'm able to get this grip, even better. But now I have to make sure I don't lose this, this, this arm over here. So even if you feel strong about, even if you feel strong to do something like this, just be very careful. If someone has just enough flexibility, his arm will come out. Can you turn, John? Just enough flexibility, his arm come out. So what prevents that flexibility walk on his favor? Knees, knees together. Knees stuck in. And then you just start work to find yourself on top from there. Let me do one more time, please. So if I have this, I can get his grip is not working. My hands on his head, start really walking this. My foot on his hip, choose one side to hip escape. As soon as I hip escape, this leg like a, it's almost like a kick. Be careful, John. Mm -hmm. Almost like a kid, just like, just kind of, just kind of knock him down so I can sit up on top. If I have on the hook, great. Knees together, feet pose. Start really climb to get it finished. Let's go try, guys. <laughs> 